What's going on guys? This is Jake of Up Fast Games and this is Batman Arkham Origins Part 2. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade. Uh, I'll go with something. This, yeah, it's simple. I'll go with that. Alright, so this is the Batcave. It's the first time we uh, get to take a look at this, which is pretty cool. No way, Alfred. I'm wondering if they changed his voice too, because he sounds a little bit different. Ah, yeah, that's how you say that. Dadget. Well, yeah, Dadget Industries under investigation. Gotham, now the second most dangerous city, was first. Mm. Curious. Would it be like Metropolis? Because everything in Superman is like God moded. Mm. Alright, fine. Assassin, sir. As in more than one. That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile man. His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. They're all hired killers. The best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson, Deathstroke, former military, subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, you say? Garfield Lins, AKA Firefly, burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. Here's a face I don't recognize, Copperhead. Strange, these reports reference a male, not a female. 14 escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget not. What the? Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot, Freeze. says here he's an expert sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Baczynski. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you'd just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. Well, all right then. All well, right. This is why, sir. I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. Wait, okay, so we got another, uh... Got another prof wow, quite a few profiles. Holy shit. Okay. Um, this is looking like it's been before the chemicals and all that. Yeah, if you guys want to read this, that, that's just a lot to read, so I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys read it if you want to. So 
Something that um, interests me is the fact that they've decided to kind of go for a lot of lesser-known villains. Uh, you got Bane in there, and you have uh, uh, Killer Croc, who are two relatively well-known um, villains. But nonetheless, I mean, I'm kind of surprised. Like, they don't really have like a lot of the big guys. Um, which, well, I'm not surprised now because I know about it. But like, that's that's a big thing that kind of surprised me about the whole thing is that they really didn't bring in a lot of the big guns for this, which is you know, kind of interesting. You to Jezebel Plaza, I think. I mean, it makes sense. You know, kind of wanting to bring in some sort of a variety. At the same time, I'm wondering what they're going to do with, you know, people like the Riddler or uh, uh, Mr. Freeze or somebody like that. I'm just going to check out the Batcave because, you know, it's the fucking Batcave. Alright. Uh, not yet. Wait, where is it? Oh. In a second. So you better hurry if you're planning on getting I will leave when I'm ready. I am Batman. Batman does things when he wants to. At least if I were Batman, that's how it would work. I'm guessing I can't use this. Oh, well. Alright. One thing I am a little nervous about is the fact that this might... It feels like there is the tangible possibility that this will be just an expansion of sorts to the original, uh, to Arkham City, just because apparently it's, you know, Arkham City before it was Arkham City, which I'm not too fond of. A question, of. sir, if I may. How did Waylon Jones come to be the way he is? Atavism from the look of it. An unfortunate genetic mutation. Do you think the condition causes physical pain? Might that explain his rage? It goes deeper than that. Imagine growing up looking like he did. Children are cruel, Alfred. Uh, so are adults, sir. Um, all part of the human condition, I suppose. We have a tendency to fear, often outright despise, that which is different. Ah, oh, but you already knew that. <laughs> I get some of Alfred's wisdom. Then, uh, where do I go? Ah, there we go. Sir, to make your travels easier, I went ahead and set up some auto nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. I want to go across. All right, then. Wow, this is actually much bigger than I initially thought it was. I mean, it's still not that large, but nonetheless, I think that that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Alright, I'm thinking that this might be, uh, what Arkham City was. This might be, uh, kind of a combination of the two areas, or of two different areas. Then again, I'm not really sure. This, I'm not totally positive, so I'm not going to claim that I know. Anyway. Um. Alfred, I've got. I'm tracking it too. It appears the control towers you use for your auto nav systems are putting out a jamming signal. Storm damage. You'll have to go down there and find that out for yourself, sir. Got it. We're close to one now. Deactivate the jamming signal. Yes, sir. What the? Grab the hostages! You, you're saying this? What the hell is it? You got some kind of death wish? I should use my smoke pellets here. I need to get up and out of danger. He can't shoot what he can't see. 
Attacking head-on is a good way to get myself shot, and probably the hostage, too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. Is that thing out there with you? Are you crazy? We were answering the service call, that's it? You better not be lying to me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Screw this, I quit. Alright, where else? Okay, so do I... No, okay. I can sneak up on the hostage taker by crawling through the vent. The one thing I'm a little kind of not not too happy about is the fact that the mechanics of the game and most things about the game have not changed over the past uh, over the entire franchise of it. Arkham Asylum and even now in Arkham Origins, pretty things are pretty much the exact same. Not that I mind game mechanics being the same, but when it's just almost everything is, it gets a little. I will. I guess just you know repetitive and annoying. I can I can fix the tower. Whatever you want, just. Please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. That man's kicking some ass. This tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. I should start by identifying the victim. Who is this guy? Victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Yeah, DNA. Oh yeah, I remember this from the trailers. The mechanic seems pretty cool. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. Looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And they... Hmm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. I, I, it's right there. I see it. I, I see it. It's right in there. Oh, right. I can... I'm trying to get this right. Oh, okay. So... Alright, yeah. So, yeah, it's in there. I knew that. You can see the card pretty clearly. Do I need to... Do I need to scan 
the vent to figure out the best way of getting in there. I just pick it up. <laughs> I don't get it. This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network towers access panels. Uh, okay, I guess that makes sense. To like have it in your memory sort of thing. Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Attack again, ladies and gentlemen. Well, well okay, listen, never mind. The king thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. One you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline. And you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Hmm, Black Mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? I don't know. I feel like, yeah, it's doing the whole... With the jammer off line, right. I can travel here I'll with say the in back a wing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. Alright then. I said a waypoint sort of thing? No? Alright. Is it gonna do that same thing that it did before where it's where it uh does the whole riddle thing? I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza then. That's the plan. But then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. If it does if it does the same thing it's been doing in the past okay that's locked all right that's been doing in the past few I, I don't know I feel like that's just once again it's repetitive and they need to start doing new stuff with it don't get me wrong um, I've enjoyed the game so far I have and I like the formula that they that they do have I just feel like it's almost uh, kind of lazy in a certain sense to not do it the other way or to not change things if I don't get to Jezebel Plaza before that arms deal, I'll have no way to locate the penguin. Okay, hold up a sec. I need to access the, uh, the map. Still learning everything. Investigate the source of Enigma's transmissions. Uh, where's the... Oh, okay, I gotta go through all these relays. Oh, taxes the server at Enigma's HQ. Eh, screw that, I'll just... I'll just go here. It, do, it doesn't... there's no, like, time limit or anything. Yeah, same sort of mechanics as last time. Which I actually do appreciate. In a continuation of a story like, uh, or not continuation of a story necessarily, but a franchise like this, um, game mechanics should typically stay the same, like, in terms of controls and all that. But the problem I have is more so when it gets to the point where um, uh, the structure is pretty much the same, especially if the map is the same. That's just plain, that's just flat out lazy. If it's the same exact map. Obviously, there's this is different. Um, at least to some extent. I have a feeling that, yeah, I mean, like, I recognize... I already recognize some of this. But, uh, yeah, I mean, at least 
there's changes, you know. But nonetheless, it feels almost as, as if they took the original map, uh, you know, kind of put a different coloring on it and just put it back out there. Which, if a game's in two years of development, what were they doing with so much of their time? If they just restructured a map. Or not even restructured, they just... Um, put, it, put a new coat of paint on it, pretty much. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. No, okay, now I went too far out. Wow. Hey! Let's see if I can jump far. I'm under arrest? Is that what I just heard? Where is this? Is it up? Okay, yeah, it's probably up. Yeah, shut up. I don't imagine this one's going to be very long. Once I finish this up, I'll probably go ahead and close out the video. Enigma, where are you? I'm right here. Well, figuratively speaking, anyway. Disappointed I didn't choose to meet up in person? What's this about? Thionis hire you to throw me off his trail? Think of me as an information broker. I've got data handlers everywhere, feeding me all kinds of interesting stuff. And you think this is going to destroy Gotham? Oh, yes. See, bullet wounds and broken bones will eventually heal. But incriminating photos, videos, emails, that kind of damage can never be repaired. Tomorrow morning, when I release everything I've got, the city's going to collapse. Resignations, arrests, deaths. It'll be chaos in the streets, Batman. And there's not a thing you can do to stop me. Now, considering all the times that he's try he's you know tried to get thwarted by Batman, he's it seems like he, uh, the Riddler has a very masochistic sort of. Uh, mind frame. Whoa. I figured you'd try and get all caveman on my equipment. It's password protected, I'm afraid, with 10,000 volts of electricity. You've lost Batman. Might as well head home and get some rest. With everyone's deepest, darkest secrets about to go on public display, I've got a feeling tomorrow's going to be a very busy day for you. One way or another, I'm shutting you down. Yeah. Destroying all the network relays will let me access his server. It's the only way to stop him. Those must be the handlers he was talking about. I can use them to track down the extortion data he's been collecting. Hmm. Alright. Well then. Maybe it's a little bit different, at least. Uh, 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 uh. No key, no entry. Well, screw you then. The door's locked, Echo. Okay. So, what do I do then? Just leave? It's about the way I came? Ah, here we go. Well then, uh, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and close out the video. So, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and all that, and I'll see you guys next time.